That's all for now here at the Republican headquarters. Let's hand it over now to Andrew Bartline at the Democratic headquarters. Yeah, much like you're seeing over there, Doug, the party's just kind of getting started over here. Seven o'clock is when these doors open and we should start to expect people to trickle in. Now I'm joined right now by Jared DeLuf, who's the executive director of the Idaho Democrats. Now, of course, it's kind of a cliche to say how pivotal is tonight, but I've been talking with people as we've been setting up this party, people coming in and out. What is most important to you on this election night in a Republican controlled state historically? Totally. Uh, I really think that today there's the real opportunity for Idaho voters to say enough to the extremism that we're seeing out uh, of the state house routinely. Uh, we've seen unprecedented engagement from younger voters, particularly younger women voters, uh, after the Dobbs decision. And I think we're going to see that translated into Democratic votes at the polls today, and we're looking forward to it. What are some of the more key races you're looking at when we look at constitutional officers, statewide offices? What do you have your eye on? What would be very important for the Democrats? tonight. Well, obviously, we've had some really great candidates like Terry Pickens Manweiler for Lieutenant Governor, Tom Marcouche for Attorney General, that we've just seen an incredible amount of bipartisan support from longtime prominent Republicans. And I think that's going to translate over into a lot of Republicans crossing over for those particular candidates tonight. Now, we saw in the primaries that the Republicans had very strong support in the House Senate. I know there's a lot of Senate races up now as well. There's a few seats that might be seen as safe, maybe a couple seats that might be a little more competitive. Competitive. What do you hope comes from some of these Senate races? Because we have seen it shift a little bit. Well, the big takeaway from the primary is that the Republican Party has fully embraced extremism in all forms. And I think that provides a real opportunity for the Democrats. We're running common sense Democrats uh, in these races that I think are going to appeal to people across the political spectrum. And I'm really hoping that we see some wins tonight. We're really looking in places like Moscow, uh, in District 26, up in Blaine County, Wood River area, Pocatello, uh, West Ada, to name a few. But, you know, we have candidates that have been out there working hard. We have a good message that I think is resonating with voters. And I think there's a lot of opportunity for surprises tonight. Well, appreciate your time, Jared. That's Jared DeLoop, the executive director of the Idaho Democrats. We're going to throw it back over to you, Morgan, at the station. All right, Andrew, thank you. Like Jared said, there are going to be some hotly contested legislative races that we are going to be paying attention to tonight here at KTVB.